Well, good morning, everyone. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Karen Thornstone, and I'm the President and CEO at the Ontario Media Development Corporation. And on behalf of OMDC's uh, Board of Directors and all of our staff, I'm really delighted to welcome you all here this morning to our third annual Digital Dialogue. I think this is a little bit early for some of the folks in our industry, so the room is going to fill up. Uh, make yourselves comfortable. Um, I suspect for those of you who are here today, you probably are already familiar with OMDC, but just in case you need a bit of a refresher, our mandate is to stimulate jobs and investment in all of Ontario's creative media industries. So that is book and magazine publishing, it's film and television, it's music, and of course, interactive digital media. And we do that through a variety of programs, services, tax credits, and by organizing events like this one today, and of course, our year-round breakfast uh, series, Digital Dialogue. You know, it's, uh, it's difficult to believe, actually, that just a few short years ago, the phrase digital economy really didn't even exist. And now it's almost impossible to contemplate a world without apps and, and cross-platform content and social media. The, the changes in the ways that we all do business and that we interact with one another have been dramatic. And I think it's safe to say that they're going to continue. So today promises to be a pretty intense day of, of learning, of networking, and collaboration. We certainly hope that you will find it to be an unparalleled opportunity to engage, to share your ideas, and of course to meet new people and new companies right across the spectrum of creative industries in Ontario and, and on both on the content and on the technology sides of, of that business. This year's format is a little different than, than we've done in the past as we are trying to sort of keep up with that rapidly changing uh, marketplace and, and trends in the digital world. Our panel discussions are going to be preceded by mini case studies and our tech crunch lunch <laughs> will feature representatives from new technology companies who will be giving you their elevator pitch about how their services can help you in your business. So it's going to be a full and a fast-paced day. Hang on tight. Uh, I think I can confidently say it will be worth your while. Uh, but just before we get started, I would like to take the chance to do a few thank yous, um, starting with the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Sport, who are well represented uh, here today, and our Minister, Michael Chan. Unfortunately, Mr. Minister Chan is out of the country today, so he can't be here with us, but I wanted to take the opportunity nonetheless to thank him. Um, he has been a tireless supporter of OMDC and a champion of Ontario's creative industries. He's really done some tremendous work in terms of supporting our sectors, and those efforts are starting to pay uh, big results. We've been tallying up some of the impressive stats and accomplishments in our sectors recently, and I think that if he were here, Minister Chan would be telling you a whole lot of good news, one of which is, for instance, that support from OMDC's Interactive Digital Media Fund has created more than 700 jobs and $56 million in revenues from projects to date. OMDC's Music Fund has supported more than 100 projects whose companies have in turn increased their revenues by 23 million and 112 permanent employees. Ontario's book publishers, they're reporting an average of more than $4 million in revenues from OMDC-supported marketing projects. And OMDC's magazine fund has helped generate $24 million in revenue and 170 sustainable jobs in that industry. Projects supported through our film fund contributed more than $95 million to Ontario's economy last year alone, and I think you can watch for some more good news when our production stats for 2012 are released in a few weeks' time. And it's absolutely fair to say that support from Minister Chan and from the Ontario government have given OMDC that capacity to invest in you, in your companies, and in your projects. And you've delivered some amazing return and some amazing results on those investments. We've got momentum, we're innovating, we're competing, and we're succeeding on that in, in that international marketplace. So congratulations to all of you, and, and please keep it up. 
I'd also like to thank um, OMDC staff, Raina Wells in particular, but the whole staff team that worked so hard to put this day together, including our board steering committee and our conference programmer, Karen Mazurkiewicz. Um, as I'm sure you can imagine, it's only one day, but there's a lot of, <laughs> of planning and logistics that go into this, so I wanted to take the chance to say thank you to them. Also, a huge thank you goes out to PwC for being our presenting sponsor again this year. PwC has been a fabulous partner for OMDC and a real supporter of Ontario's creative industries. Uh, we're delighted that Lisa Coleman and several of the PwC team are here with us today and you'll hear from Lisa at the end of the day. And also huge thanks goes out to Adobe who have come on as our, um, our TechCrunch lunch sponsor for today and uh, have donated a mini iPad for the, uh, the lunch prize. So you got to be in the room to win that one. Perhaps most importantly, I'd like to thank our keynote speaker, Con Yigit, and all of the moderators, panelists, and presenters who've agreed to share their expertise with us today. You're, you will hear more about each of them over the course of the day, but I know that you'll agree they are truly an impressive group, and I can't possibly express enough appreciation on behalf of OMDC for their willingness to come out and contribute their time, their wisdom, uh, and their expertise in our discussions today. And finally, I'd like to welcome and thank our MC for the day, Terry Fallis. Uh, probably many of you, most of you even, will recognize Terry as our returning Digital Dialogue MC from last year. Uh, but of course, that's not the only thing he's famous for. Um, <laughs> he's a hot commodity in the PR industry, um, and he's also the author of uh, several hilarious bestsellers, uh, The Best Laid Plans, The High Road, and Up and Down. Uh, his first novel was originally released in podcast format, and then it later went on to win the uh, 2008 Stephen Leacock Award for Humor and the 2011 Canada Reads Contest. And of course, his most recent book is garnering rave reviews, and it's got the social media circles buzzing. He's funny, he's poignant, uh, he's thought-provoking, as he encourages us to think about how the online universe changes the way that, that we interact with our content and the way that we interact with one another. So thank you, Terry, um, for agreeing to uh, join us again this year and for sharing uh, your time so generously. And we're looking forward to your wisdom and your wit <laughs> as you lead us through the day. And with that, I'm going to turn the, the podium over to uh, Mr. Fellows. Wow, no pressure there. Uh, thank you, Karen. It's wonderful to be back here uh, hosting Digital Dialogue. Uh, nice to be back a second time. I kind of feel like uh, Ricky Gervais being asked back twice for the, the Golden Globes, though I don't intend to insult the panelists as they, uh, as they come up. Uh, but uh, this conference has always been what right in my wheelhouse in a way. Uh, if I were not emceeing, I would probably be sitting where you are today. Uh, as Karen mentioned, uh, my content creation does not just uh, stem from my novels. Uh, I also have a connection to the digital world in that I co-founded a, a PR agency back in 1995 that has over the years morphed into a digital and social media uh, agency as well. I've been a podcaster since 2006 and a blogger since 2007, so uh, this is uh, my kind of conference. So let me echo Karen's welcome and uh, welcome you all to our third annual Digital Dialogue Conference. Uh, it's great to see so many people here across the uh, array of uh, digital industries, creative content industries and technology industries. Looking forward to a day of uh, stimulating discussion. Uh, want you to be active participants throughout the day. Uh, this is not a one way, it's called dialogue for uh, a reason. Uh, my role is much more than uh, looking good and mispronouncing panelists' names. Uh, I'm also the timekeeper. Uh, I want to make sure that I get you to the lunch, and perhaps more importantly, to the reception afterwards. Uh, so for those uh, speakers and panelists, uh, if you see me stand up from my seat over here, uh, I'm not just stretching my legs. Uh, and I hope I don't have to use my newly installed iPad trapdoor app. I don't think I'll have to, but uh, so we're gonna keep an eye on the time, and if you see me looming, you'll know. Um, we've designed this to be a very interactive program. We're all in the same room all day. None of this trying to decide which concurrent session to go to will be here all day. 
uh, sharing the same insights. For those of you who like to multitask, uh, we encourage you to tweet about the conference. The hashtag is OMDCDD. Please use the hashtag because we want to see this conference uh, trending on Twitter. There will always be questions uh, after each session. You will have a chance to ask your questions. So before we jump in, there are a few housekeeping items to cover. We want you to tweet, we want you to use your Blackberries, but if you could put them on silent mode, that would be appreciated. Again, all the activities are in this room, one around the corner and the gallery upstairs, so you don't have to wander too far. I should also mention that we are shooting the conference today. We're filming it, and we are going to be putting it on YouTube, where no doubt it will immediately go viral. So uh, if those panelists, I think, have already signed their consent forms, so uh, we'll be on the, on the small screen before too long. There are a few changes to the lineup, so if you just go to the program, in our first panel, uh, Trevor Dirksen, the CEO of MobaVivo, is not able to be here, but he'll be replaced by the VP, Chris Geddes. And in our TechCrunch lunch, uh, Omid Safa from TapPage will be replacing Salman Habib, and from Adobe, Roy Deutschbein will be uh, replacing Eric Gott. And finally, Eric Broussard in our third panel, I think it is, in the, in the afternoon, uh, on short notice is unable to be here, so we are searching for a replacement. We're looking for volunteers. So uh, Eric can't be here either. <laughs> 